State health officials are warning all travelers about the risk of mosquito-transmitted Zika virus. But what we found out when it comes to tracking the bugs here, our state isn't exactly putting its money where its mouth is. CBS North Carolina investigates Jonathan Rodriguez joins us in the studio with why, Jonathan? Well, Sean, the good news is there haven't been any cases of Zika that have originated here. But the mosquitoes that can carry Zika and other diseases are all over North Carolina. And on the state level, no one is tracking them. Zika is spread directly from human to human. It gives you fever, muscle aches, red eyes, and a rash. We do have the mosquitoes here that can transmit these pathogens. We have it in all 100 counties of North Carolina. Ready or not, they're coming. It lays its eggs in artificial containers in people's backyards, buckets, tarps, plant pots, etc. Anywhere where a teaspoon of water will be. If you want to learn about mosquito-borne diseases, you want to talk to ECU Assistant Professor Dr. Stephanie Richards. It is a little scary to be bitten by mosquitoes these days because you never know what kinds of pathogens you're going to um, encounter. A peek inside the fridge in her lab will already make you itch. We just got our Zika virus in this week. Right now, she's studying the Aedes albopictus, a.k.a. the Asian tiger mosquito. These can carry Zika and other viruses. There hasn't really been a lot of work on that, so that's one of the things we're going to investigate. With that said, you might expect that the state is tracking these bugs, right? Wrong. We asked state health director Dr. Randall Williams. Does the state have the resources necessary to actually track mosquitoes? Uh, absolutely. We're putting that into place, Jonathan. <laughs> Putting that into place, Jonathan. Putting that into place because right now, it doesn't exist. For years, the state had its own pest management control program, but with budget cuts, lawmakers disbanded it in 2011. In the past, they were because we did not have that emerging issue to the degree that we see now. The last bit of money left over from mosquito control was finally dissolved in 2014. We have already started uh, the process of hiring and putting into people uh, place using our own resources. When we have something like this pop up, is it dangerous that the state has cut all its funding at this point? I think so. Right now, they're, they're planning to hire to state-level medical entomologists, which is great. Um, but it's going to take some time for, for those people, you know, to get up to speed on what's going on in North Carolina. So we would lag behind. I was surprised that they would cut that. Eugene McRoy runs the Vector Control Program in Beaufort County. It's one of the few counties and cities that have decided to keep track of mosquitoes on their own. The funds that we were getting from the state, we don't get those anymore. So all our funding for mosquito work is done directly through the county. During the summer, they trap mosquitoes here on a weekly basis. And then we put them under the microscope and identify each one of those down to the species level. This way, they know what and where potential problem mosquitoes are. We have diseases out there, and by having those funds available, it certainly helps to be able to come to do what you can to help prevent spreading it. Now, the state is keeping a close eye on confirmed Zika cases. We're one of 12 labs in the country that are considered an advanced lab, so we are gearing up to do the test in North Carolina. Especially when images like these have captured the world's attention. It's more our concern that it may be associated with birth defects that has us um, cautioning people. But aside from a vaccine, tracking, spraying, and surveillance could be the best defense we have. I've already had conversations with people in the legislature and within state government, so those conversations have already started. It's a step in the right direction, um, but we need to make sure we sustain those positions, even in low budget years. I asked Dr. Williams if this meant that local mosquito control programs will start seeing some of that funding again. He said yes. This is the posting for the two state entomologist positions. They'll pay about forty to $70,000 salary. Sean. All right, Jonathan, thank you. Something to consider as the weather gets warmer. And if you have an issue you want the North Carolina News Investigates team to check out, email us at investigates at WNCN.com.